Hello and welcome to the talk about nonlinear ski rental. I'm Boaz Pachamir and on the right you can see the picture of Aviatar Yadei. We are both from the School of Electrical Engineering in Tel Aviv University. Let's start by discussing uh, ski rental in general, the motivation for ski rental. So suppose you have a project you want to put on the cloud. Suppose you know that your project may run as long as 28 months, but you don't know uh, how long will that actually be. It may be just one day. Who knows? You look up the Amazon Web Services uh, pricing plans, and you see two options. One is to pay as you go, $100 a month. The other is to pay up front a big chunk, $1,500, and you'll get the whole project covered, essentially. This is enough for 36 months. If we chart these options, then the first option, which we call rent, is the, described by this blue line, where the x-axis is the duration of a project in months, and the y-axis is the cost of a project in dollars. The orange line describes the second option. Since we don't know how the project will run, we are facing the, dile the obvious dilemma of what to do. What pricing plan should we, t should we take? Here's another example, uh, this time a similar data plan. <coughs> so uh, there are some plans that look like, uh, like that. Uh, if you c for the first 10 gigabytes cost you 40 bucks. Each additional gigabyte of the next five gigabytes cost you five bucks a gig, and at uh, 15 gigs the service stops. Another alternative is just to pay $50, and then you can consume, you can consume how much, whatever amount of data you wish. If we plot these options, it looks like that. The first plan is described by the black line. Note that in this case, the x-axis is the consumption and not the duration. The y-axis is still the cost. And the second plan is described by the dashed orange line. Uh, these two examples show the basic dilemma, which is to commit or not to commit in the face of unknown future. The ski rental formulation of this of this uh, dilemma is the following. The unknown future is modeled by an unknown finish time in the case of uh, the project or the uh, unknown con uh, data consumption in the case of the cellular plan. The commit or not to commit are modeled by two uh, possible options. One is usually called buy and it is characterized by a large down payment that uh, possibly small rent as we go. And the not commit option, usually called rent, characterized by small down payment and larger rental fees as we go. Uh, okay, the question is how to evaluate the quality of an algorithm because the problem here, usually we want to minimize cost, but here cost is a function of an unknown quantity. So what can we do, what can we say about it? Uh, we can be risk averse, we can be risk loving. Uh, quantitatively, one may, uh, it is uh, sometimes popular to use, uh, to impose some probability distribution of the, uh, over the input and analyze that. This is what they do in queuing theory, in control theory, etc. But this uh, approach is uh, in many cases unsatisfactory because the actual input may depend on other parts of the system. Uh, so uh, assuming independent input distribution is, well, questionable at best in many cases. So in, nine, in the early 80s, Slitter and Tarjan found a way out by taking the approach that what we want to minimize is future embarrassment. So how can we be embarrassed in the future? We will be embarrassed in the future if we took an action that turned out to be a complete disaster. Okay? So the basic guideline, as the, this ancient TV ad says, is don't be a sucker. So how can you not be a sucker? You don't want to say in hindsight that was a bad idea. What you want to do beforehand is to choose the idea that is guaranteed not to be beaten by much.
okay, and save you from uh, being a sucker or looking like a sucker in the future. Uh, this uh, requires a special type of algorithms that do some hedging between the two options of commitment and non-commitment. Uh, more specifically, the competitive analysis uh, approach is the following. We look at every at the solutions in hindsight relative to the best possible, as mentioned earlier. So how do we do that in the case of ski rental? Well, uh, first, uh, what is uh, the, the best possible? So if we look again at the data plan uh, graphs, uh, we can see that the best possible, the, the, the best choice of any consumption of up to 12 gigabytes is taking uh, the plan one. And if the consumption is larger than 12 gigabytes, we should take plan two. So the optimal solution is what denoted here as the red line as opt, okay? So this is the optimal solution. Now, given an actual quantity, we can evaluate the ratio between what the algorithm paid for that quantity and what we would the optimal solution be for that quantity. And if we take the supremum of the, of, the, of, the, of the ratios between the cost the algorithm pays for each possible quantity and the optimal cost for that quantity, this is the competitive ratio of the algorithm, denoted in this talk by CR. Okay, so CR is the worst case uh, ratio between the cost the algorithm paid and the cost the optimum paid. So if uh, we can bound the competitive ratio, that means that we can bound how embarrassed will we be in hindsight when the actual when the actual uh, stopping time, uh, the actual quant the unknown quantity is revealed. Okay. Uh, when the algorithm is randomized, then the optimal cost remains the same. It doesn't uh, affect the, the optimal choice, but the cost of the algorithm is a random variable determined by the random uh, uh, coin tosses made by the algorithm, so the cost is just the expected cost. Uh, if, the ad if, uh, if the algorithm is randomized, we assume that the adversary, namely the stopping time, is independent of the coin tosses. Okay, uh, so here's the definition of ski rental more formally. The instance consists of two functions called the rent function and the buy function, here denoted by f sub r and f sub d, which map the consumption time to cost, which is a non negative real number. We also have a parameter which is the cost of switching plans, going from rent to buy. That's the main power of the algorithm. When do we want to switch from renting to buying? And so the instance also says, how much will that cost us? Uh, a strategy in this context is the time to switch plans. Right? This is what the algorithm can choose. You usually start with rent, and at some point you switch. You may uh, start with buy, you may never switch, you may plan to switch at some time, at some time in the future, if uh, if you still need, the, uh, if the game is not over by that time. The adversary for of the algorithm is the entity that determines when the uh, what is the stopping time, what what is the consumption to be, uh, what is the quantity be, to be consumed. Uh, an algorithm, uh, well, a deterministic algorithm is just a strategy, namely a time, to, uh, a time to switch from rent to buy. Could be zero or infinity as well. A random, uh, a randomized algorithm is a distribution of uh, this strategy, namely you choose a switching time at random. Okay. Uh, so this is the general flavor of the ski rental problem. The known variants, which we will go over in a minute, are the following. First, you, it is almost uh, always assumed that the cost functions are linear, namely the linear function of, of time. Uh, or there is one work that, uh, that looks at concave cost functions. This is by uh, Bejerano, Zidon, and Nao. There are works that take the cost with compound interest, so that the cost, uh, the, so that the cost functions are actually exponential in time. 
This is the word by Yang, Zhang, Zhang, and Xi. Uh, the number of plans is usually two, namely buy and rent. But, uh, there are some, but uh, in uh, 2004, Augustine, Irani, and Swami uh, proposed looking at uh, more than two options. We call the, this the multislope case. Uh, another variant concerns the switching cost, whether they are additive or not, namely whether the down payments accumulate or you have to pay regardless. Uh, okay, so these are the main uh, variants, and here is what is known uh, for linear ski rental. So, linear, so in the, the classical instance introduced by uh, Carlin, Manas, Rudolf, and Slater back in the 80s, uh, says that the rental uh, the, the rental cost is just proportional to time, and the buying cost is constant. Without loss of generality, uh, the rental cost is of t is just t, and the buying cost is just one. So we have this uh, graph of the options. Note that the two options intersect at the point one comma one. Uh, this is just normalization. So for this uh, classic uh, classical instance, it is known that the deterministic competitive ratio is two, uh, and the randomized competitive ratio is e over e minus one, uh, uh, which is about 1.58, and this is a result by Carling, Manas, McGeoch, and Owiki from the 90s. Uh, the next, uh, the mo uh, this model was generalized into general two options. So uh, here we, the, the general two options is just two uh, linear functions. Uh, this is work by uh, Amir Levy and myself. Uh, so here we have that the rental is the, is the uh, black line. It has smaller down payment than the buy and it has a steeper slope than the buy, namely uh, the A, the A1, A1 is larger than A2, okay? So this is what we have. And in this case, uh, we also have an arbitrary switch cost C. Uh, in, in general, it is not additive. And here are the results. So this is the deterministic competitive ratio, the minimum of three quantities, and the randomized competitive ratio bears some resemblance to the for, to the expression for the classical uh, competitive ratio uh, in this case. Okay. Uh, finally, we have the multi-slope case. So here, each line is a different uh, plan. Uh, not much is known for this uh, in terms of competitive ratio. It is known that the competitive ratio is never it could be bounded by four deterministically or by e using a randomized algorithm. Okay, uh, so this result is by uh, De Gerano, Tidon, and Nao. Okay, uh, so now let's move on to our results. Our results are the following. We give an algorithm that finds the optimal deterministic strategy, and then an algorithm that's a numerical algorithm that computes an approximate optimal randomized strategy for any instance with two slopes, namely not the multi slope case, under the following condition. We assume that the cost functions are continuous, monotone, and non decreasing. And so is the difference between the cost functions. Also, to show optimality of a randomized strategy, we need to assume that the rental cost function is not bounded. Okay? So this is our main result. We give us an, an instance, and we'll compute a, an optimal deterministic strategy or a near-optimal uh, randomized strategy under very mild conditions. Okay, so let's start with a deterministic strategy. Here is uh, the recipe how to cook a the, the, the optimal deterministic strategy. Well, here it goes. First we define the function h of t, 
which is the which for every t defines the competitive ratio of a strategy that switches a t and immediately the adversary uh, stops at time t plus epsilon for a very small epsilon okay so we can define it for each t and h of t uh, tracks the competitive ratio uh, we compare it with the competitive ratio of the strategy that never buys it only rents okay so uh, for every point t there is a competitive ratio of that strategy uh, it could have been ob obtained in the past right remember that the competitive ratio is is uh, the, the worst case so uh, we find the point ts where h of ts equals the competitive ratio of not buying if there is such an intersection uh, so we have ts if it exists if ts exists we define tm uh, to be the point before ts which minimizes h okay and finally the optimal strategy we find by comparing the competitive ratio of the strategy which is one never switch namely buy up front and never switch uh, the second strategy is never buy okay start uh, uh, yeah. is never buy or we switch at time tm if the game uh, is still uh, in place so here we see a uh, graphical as uh, schematical representation so the rent function is this dashed orange line the buy function is this red line uh, h is the uh, black line and g which is the uh, competitive ratio of rent only is the uh, blue line so you, you can see the intersection point ts which is around six and uh, we're looking for a minimum of h before tm we find that this minimum is at point zero so this is our uh, candidate for uh, one of the two candidate one of the three candidates for uh, the optimal deterministic strategy let's move on to randomized strategy so for randomized strategy we do some uh, more slightly more complicated analysis uh, we use the following notion of tightness we call a strategy tight if it is if its competitive ratio is constant for all topping times we, okay so this is a, a notion well known since the first uh, randomized strategy for ski rental uh, we use it again here but we prove the following interesting uh, fact we show that if an instance has unbounded rental cost function and if the instance also happen to have a tight strategy B then B must be the best strategy there is I mean it, it obtains the best possible competitive ratio so this is an interesting fact the, the proof is non trivial and the proof goes through showing first that if uh, the rental cost is unbounded then there can be no pairs of strategy such that one strictly dominates the other namely one has a better competitive ratio for, than the other at every for every stopping if we have once we have that proving the theorem is not so difficult okay so this is one thing and uh, once we have that we have the following uh, algorithm the algorithm goes as follows so suppose we are given an instance as mentioned as explained earlier and suppose we are also given some uh, positive epsilon what we do first is first we kind of discretize the cost functions we make them step functions so that we we discretize them so that they don't change with by more than a factor of one plus epsilon between one jump to the other okay we have some special treatment of infinity it's not very interesting uh, so let t be the set of all discontinuities we also include in t the points zero and infinity now for every pair of points z and y we compute rho of z of y which is the competitive ratio of a strategy that switches at time z 
if the stopping time is y. Okay, so giving a, stop, a switching time, a stopping time, it's trivial to compute the the uh, the uh, competitive ratio rho z y. Now we write a linear program. Okay, the linear program is over variables q of z. Q of z is just the probability of switching at time z. And the linear program, one, uh, uh, the, the goal is to minimize rho in the following inequality. Okay, uh, we have that the x, this is the, the sum of all z and t of rho z y times q z is no more than rho. Okay, so this is the rho, the, the expected competitive ratio for a given time y with the uh, probabilities q of z and we write the, such an inequality for every point y in t, the set of discontinuities. Okay, so this is a, a standard linear program. We can solve it and find what is qz. We need also to write that the q's are non-negative and that they sum up to one. This is standard, I don't have it on the uh, slide here. Altogether, we prove the theorem that the resulting strategy is 1 plus epsilon cubed approximate with, uh, with respect to the competitive ratio, and its comp uh, the, the running time is proportional to 1 over epsilon to the fifth times the log of 1 over epsilon to the uh, fourth power. Okay. So here is a, a case study we also show in the paper. So this is an instance. That's the data plan instance we were talking about all, all, to, uh, all along. This is the cost of switching. It's 24. And we have two parameters that we focus on. One is the, in the, the down payment for the rental. We denote it by BR0. And the other is when does the uh, rental plan uh, flattens out we call that TD, okay? So these are just two variables that we play with. And if we look at the competitive ratio of the, uh, the, uh, the strategies, the algorithm finds as a function of, T, two, uh, of TD here and BR0 here, we see this interesting uh, manifold. It's interesting also to compare it to the deterministic case which is much, uh, you know, it's not as smooth. It has uh, sharp edges. And you see that the numbers, the competitive ratio here goes up to 2. And here it's, uh, it goes only up to 1.5, something like that. Uh, uh, if you are interested, here is the CDF that of, of uh, what to do. So we have this probability, some uniform probability up to 10 of, uh, of uh, buying, then, the, the uni then we have a different probability of buying, and then at around 2.7 or something like that, uh, we don't buy anymore. We remain on this probability of not buying all the time. Uh, okay, uh, so to conclude, what we have shown is that we can solve ski rental in polynomial time for two alternatives even if the instances are non-concave, so under very uh, mild assumptions on the, co uh, the cost functions. Uh, so we only need monotonic monotonicity, unbounded rent, and continuity. Uh, we give a numerical solution. And what is obviously left open is the multi-slope case. Thank you very much.